Tuesday night cycles around the evening of the road cycle race. There are many more people involved in the preparation for this race than just the cyclists and the race officials themselves. Warning cones are hoisted, but in fact, the weather stays very fine indeed. As the cyclists begin to line up for the start, a fairly large group of spectators also begin to assemble, and Jim Bavin of Raynet introduces the event. The race is a handicap type race where the competitors are started in four groups, graded according to ability and experience. Only once in the last 14 years in which the race has been won has the runner not come from group 3 or group 4. The race is over a total distance of 25 miles, made up of eight laps of the circuit, As perhaps the last runners to come down from the Craigie race jog past the five ways checkpoint, the shadows lengthen across the road and we return to the main street in front of the sports centre to observe the finishing minutes of the race. Ahead of the next 
next bunch. And the leader of the race, at the head of the race, is number 15, W. McMillan from Greenock. Followed by number 18, unfortunately I don't have a name on the list here. Number 4, Jai Weldon from Glenmarnock. And number 17, A little later in the week, the smallest giants of the football set were to be found locked in battle in St Mark's playing field. Johnny, watch again. Steven, back you come. Come on, that's a midfield man that picked him up. Passions ran as high as in any big league championships, but with none of the tantrums, except perhaps from the sidelines. <laughs> 